Welcome to Channel AMEC, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Kao Yang, your online YouTube visa consultant. Now in this video, I would like to update of some news that had been uh, coming from the immigration directly and also how that will impact you uh, due to the changes that, that had been made by budget 2020 in 21. Obviously, I have done uh, a news update last week and um, I've, been, I've been receiving a lot of inquiries in regards how the visa or how the migration pathway will actually form in the coming days actually now first of all i would like to give you an update on the state and territories nomination now i've tried to keep my eyes on every state uh since last uh, tuesday now until today we haven't actually seen a detail of any state i i believe that the uh, immigration is actually allocating all the a quota in numbers to every different state, uh, and then the state has to uh, uh, announce uh, how they should match uh, by the structure that has been given by the uh, immigration. So um, you know, let's keep keep that um, keep the channel open. So once we have the updates, we'll let everybody know. Now today, a couple topics. Uh, we received uh, updated news in regards to some waiver and refund uh, for applicant or visa holders who already uh, who ha has been a victim due to the um, COVID nineteen pandemic. So, uh, if you had the visa and you couldn't come to Australia for work or travel, whatever the reason, uh, immigration is there for you to uh, for refund or waiver for your um, renewing of the visa. And also, let's discuss about. Uh, two other things. One is the the major uh, topics in regards to the investor visas and GTI, and of course a partner visa. How they will want you to actually get English test if you are a spouse of Australian citizen or a spouse of Australian permanent resident. So uh, first thing, let's um, have a look. This is the email that I've received this morning. How uh, that like to share with you guys as you can see it's uh, from the 12th of October uh, there is a breaking news came in uh, Australian government had today announced for the detail for refund waiver for people have been impacted by the COVID uh, so visa visa um, if you hold a visa visa looking to actually travel uh, to Australia this year in 2020 obviously you've been restricted due to all kinds of international travel restrictions so as long as you got visa expire by March 2020 and by December 2021, uh, you'll be eligible for such a waiver. So that means uh, the immigration is giving out, the Australian government is giving out free uh, of travel visa if you require to extend it, renew it. And I think that's a very, very good um, policy because it, um, it actually encourages uh, travelers, uh, uh, tourists to actually return back to Australia once the international border is opened. Uh, working out with the makers, they have uh, been uh, receiving a lot of inquiries in, in regards to this one. So a lot of people got their uh, uh, working out the visa and they cannot come, or they got it, but then uh, they return back and then they never never can actually return back to Australia to work, or they have been overaged. So in all these regards, um, Im immigration is, is giving out waiver as well for you to reapply your working holiday visa, or perhaps if you have passed your age limit, uh, they will refund the fee back to you. Now, good. there's another issue here at the budget 2020-21 where uh, the immigration is looking to raise the uh, age limit for working hard and maker in, in, um, to increase the, the workability and to, and to improve the regional agriculture sector in Australia. So I haven't seen that coming in, but once that's been lifted, uh, perhaps you might not need to get a refund. You can reapply and come again and work. Okay, seasonal workers. So if you're, uh, you're under seasonal worker, Pacific Labor Scheme workers, that's uh, uh, those uh, people came from uh, the islands, from Pacific Islands. Uh, so um, you will be eligible for refund as well. 
if you have been granted uh, between those dates and un unable to travel so they will give the money back to you now temporary skilled workers that's uh, the TSS 482 and also the temporary skilled worker here um, if due to restriction you're not able to come in for the initial entry uh, obviously there's a uh, they wish you to reapply I uh, reapply and um, uh, the they, there will be a waiver for the fee as well and also to support the um, skill and things government will offer waiver to VAC or uh, subsequent application as well so again it's the, the you can see the pattern is the same uh, they, they are also uh, I've got some clients who had other type of visa and they couldn't make it to for their initial entry as well so I doubt they they will actually do that to other visa too but uh, let's look and uh, see what happens uh, now prospective marriage visa holders obviously uh, you cannot come because there's international restrictions so they will refund you the money back uh, and um, invite you to apply for a travel visa at the visa visa so you can land it yourself in Australia uh, with your spouse uh, get the marriage and then you lodge for the onshore uh, partner visa that's basically what it's meant for so the cost uh, for the uh, the marriage and partner visas remains the same because the initial pay has been refunded back to you okay other things let's talk about the actual budget here now let me uh, structure it okay so so this is the actual announcement at the immigration website where uh, I would like to take a, a detailed look at uh, how it actually forms so it remains 160,000 places for uh, 2020-21 I, I doubt that they will actually get that met because uh, issue of the um, we, we only got about half a year to go and there's so much restrictions going on uh, whether or not we can meet that requirement we don't know they have increased the GTI global talent interdependent program uh, from 5,000 to uh, 15,000 so triple the number uh, and the other thing is the uh, the business innovation and investment program uh, will increase to 13,500 places that's double of the pro uh, the 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 quarter been given um, compared to last year so again we can see that due to the uh, the economic uh, economy of Australia has been decreased and looks like we are facing the first a negative figure for G, for the GDP in Australia uh, the uh, the federal government is looking to actually uh, boost the economy by uh, getting more of the researcher type of uh, global talent people high talented people and also investors into Australia uh, there is also a view of getting the uh, BIIP which is business innovation investment program to be more streamlined and more in quality uh, my um, explanation of how that will actually form through my previous study and the media announced over the past month is that they will actually uh, compare every applications points by points for the BIIP program for instance for one double A and one double B uh, you're required to meet 65 points so the person for the, so the applicant has higher point will have the prioritization to actually get invited uh, and streamline as well so they want the applicant to put forward more about what they have not just to meet the minimum minimum requirement so it matches uh, with all the um, general skill migrations as well so the higher point you get high, uh, higher prioritization there so that's what it is now moving on to the next topic is obviously has been um, uh, heavily massively discussed uh, over the weekend so Australian part of visa immigration so what's happening there they require you to take an English test wow now how will that go and um my view here um, I, I, I don't I don't see how that could actually be uh, well technically and legally uh, that can be uh, implemented but if you look at the pattern of uh, previous years where they looking to actually raise the English language test for citizenship so uh, permanent residents uh, want to become a citizen of Australia they they, they were 
planning to have English test on all the permanent residents of Australia. So、uh, the the public and the community feedback was massive. So that actually overkill the actual plan. <laughs> so、uh, as you as you may if you've been following the news. Uh, they have newly announced、uh, the new requirement for citizen、uh, citizenship applications, where they only include a further few more questions、uh, rather than having English test. So、uh, I I don't know how this will go. Now, if we if we see the if we、uh, see the precedent of how the citizenship one previously,、uh, it, it, the plan might change. Now, even even though if it doesn't change. When do they want this to actually be、um, implemented? Will be the second half year of 2021. So that's that's after this financial year, and the requiring level is not high as well. It's only at the function functional level, which is only equivalent to IELTS 4.5. So、uh, if you can go into a restaurant and order some food, go to McDonald, go to KFC,、uh, I don't see、uh, you. May not be able to pass this English test anyhow, but again, this、um, this will become a huge debate, and、uh, I believe it will all obviously go into a political debate because they always like to talk about family streams visa where they are putting more criteria in because、uh, in, in a way it's restricting、um, family reunion、uh, in a way,、uh, and that that's actually striking out. How the、um, the rights that's been given to、uh, by the Constitution of Australia. So, don't know. See how that goes. Anyhow, that's for the update today.、Uh, should you have more、uh, query, more than welcome to leave your query down below the comment sections. And should you consider to subscribe to this channel, so once we have more updated news, you should be the first one getting it. Thank you for watching. I see you in the next video. Goodbye.